Hello YouTube, this is me. This is unusually I'm holding a camera. Hello. Anyways, so um, I don't have my quadcopter equipment here. Let's see, is the flashlight on? No, the flashlight's off. Turn it on. There we go. All right. So this is my controller. You can tell it's a pretty good controller. And this is my um, ghetto kind of hookup with the Arduino. And as you can see, the receiver right here. I zip tied it because I was taking it to school and showing it to a couple of friends. So. As you can see, there is, let me get a pen that's probably better at pointing. There is, let's see, there you have your first channel, second channel, third channel, fourth channel, fifth channel, sixth channel, and battery channel. Now, as you can see here, each kind of row of pins is one channel. And the reason the two, like, the, the, the right side and the left side, I mean, the two columns here are empty is because those the middle one is power and the left one is ground so instead of what the what this does is you hook up the power eh, you hook up the ground and power and then the uh, battery channel as you can see there is a channel called bat it's battery and everything else is act eh, everything else is actually a supply of voltage so in this case, I'm only getting inputs into the, you can probably see on this side, I'm only putting inputs into the Arduino, let me just take this bit in here, and through the uh, pulse, width, pulse, uh, pulse width modulated um, pins, and so I don't have to use the power outputs here. Now, you can see this is my controller, so uh, when I bought this, they already came bound, but if you want to bind it, you get this thing, you can see. All it does is it short circuits the leftmost and the rightmost, and you do that here. You let, you short circuit the leftmost on the battery channel with the rightmost on the battery channel, and then this goes in binding mode. What you do is your controller is off. You hold the bind button. In this case, it's on the front, but usually on controls you'll see it on the back. So you hold the bind button, and while you're holding the bind button, you flick you flick the switch. So you have to hold it and flick the switch at the same time. Then this is going to bind. You take off the bind key, plug it in the power, and, and let me change hands here. Right. Bind button, and then you turn the thing on. It turns on red light, a green light, and then your here. This is not hooked up to my computer. Let me hook it up to my computer. Right, there we go. Let's see, let's turn this off. For sake. So this is off. You see, there's no light on here. Turn it on, and all red light flashes, and there's the green light there. Mm, let's see. Let's get a, we'll get rid of the flash. There we go. See the green light and the red light. So now this is connected, and when I'm moving, it gives me different thrust, um, roll, roll, pitch, yeah, all that stuff. So uh, here, let me turn off the flashlight. So this is my computer. You can tell you've seen it in the last video. Oh, and by the way, actually, I should probably describe this. So, I've kind of um, shifted project. Instead of doing a, mo a quadcopter, I've actually decided to do a tricopter. And the reason is, is a tricopter is just like a quadcopter. If you want to move right, you make the... So you have two, sorry, you have two motors in the front and one motor in the back. You, If you want to turn right, you make the motor on the front left stronger, just slightly stronger than all the other motors. If you want to turn right... If you want to, yeah, if you want to turn right, you make that uh, left motor stronger. If you want to turn right, you make the, the um, if you want to turn left, you make the right motor stronger. And forward, backward is kind of the same thing. The back motor stronger and the front two stronger. But if you want to yaw, the way it works is it's pretty cool. You, what you do is you actually have your motor, the back tail motor, is mounted on a tilting mechanism which can yaw or which can turn, turn right and left. And what that does here, I have this part list. I'll be putting this part list in my description, so if any of you want to build it. Um, you can see here there's zero, zero, and there should be another zero. No, yeah, those two are zero. The reason I put them zero is because those are the CCTV camera and the CCTV screen. This is for the FPV, first person view, kind of like a camera mounted, and I can see what, I'm, what the plane's looking at. Um, if you don't, if you add that, your total is going to be 200 and 
I don't know, around 250. So I have this here. Let me click on the tilt mechanism. Go to that link. So, internet is dying. It decides to do stuff. I just want to show you a visual. Basically, yeah, if you want to turn, if you want to yaw kind of uh, clockwise, then you would turn your tail motor to the right, thus giving force, making your thing, no, you want to give it to the left to turn clockwise, yeah, tilt your motor to the left, and that'll push the tail, back tail to the left, which is turning clockwise. So, this is what it, the product looks like, unman, unman, mounted, and this is what it kind of looks like, let the thing load, if it ever decides to, changing hands. Uh, come on, internet. Come on, internet. Don't be against me. We're on the same side, alright? Please. But I thought we had love going on. The connection. <sighs> okay, looks like it doesn't. I'll see if I can zoom in. That's probably a bad idea. Okay, uh, actually, this is probably a better picture. Let's see. Come on, load. Damn it. Well, anyways, let me zoom in far enough. You can see that. There's this. The way this works is this first one is put on top of the second one. A screw goes in the middle that turns. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the screw short so it only stops to here. And then I'm just going to hook my servo and into here where the, the screw goes in. And so what that does is that allows the servo to control the turning right and left. So that's only nine bucks, so it's not too bad. Now let me open the Arduino software and show you the joystick. I mean, yeah. all right, let's see, sketches, let's see, Tri uh, tricopter flight drawer. Okay, so let me full screen this. So what I did here is in the, I, I, I obviously made a bunch of integers for each one. So what I did here is I, in the loop method, I did, for each pin, I did pulse in and set it, set the value to an integer. And yeah, I set pulse in and I'm counting the pulses, the, the high pulses, how long it's high. So with this, what I did is I, basically skewed the numbers and I put it inside a method called skew numbers to get to get it so the this when it's down is zero when it's up it's at a hundred which is max um, the right and left when the center would be zero most right would be a hundred most left would be negative a hundred so it goes for this stick and so it goes for this so let me open com port and you see, let me put this down. Okay. So you see, it's printing out zero, 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 zero. Now what this is doing is this is okay. Let's see, what is this printing? This is printing roll, pitch, yaw, and oh, let me upload the sketch. I have a different sketch put on the program here. Okay, so I'm uploading the sketch. You can see. So, let me start talking about this. Then I made a method. I made a method called process movement. I made a bunch of I made, uh, sorry. I made a bunch of variables here. What this is going to do is when I go forward, that's only counting for the y-axis of my joystick movement. It's only counting for um, pitch. If I'm going to go forward and right, it's going to have to account for pitch and roll. So, I have motor X, which is the mo what, what all the three motors have to be based only on the x-axis movement of the stick, only for only right and left, and then motor Y, motor, the motors for the y-axis. Now, the, for the ones for the y-axis, 
it's going to be based on only more forward and, move, forward and backward movement, unlike the x-axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate all the movements, average them together to get the right vectoring, because this is all vectoring, so you just take the two and average them together, you get the right direction. Um, okay, so it's uploaded. Put it in here. Okay. See, we get a bunch of values. Now, just to remind you, the it prints out roll, then pitch, then yaw, then thrust. So it prints out right and left in the joystick, up and down, and then right and left in the second stick, and then up and down in the second stick. Okay, let's look at this. It's currently zero. So the last one is thrust. Let me turn on the light. Okay. I move this all the way up. This up oh, to the yeah, camera falls. This grounds out at 99, 98, 99, and I can just shove it up with my hand, it grounds out to 100. But that's only if I like push it hard and then it starts bending the plastic. Okay. Now, let's say I want to turn right. I'm holding it to turn right. That, you see, it's right. I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm going to make the thrust lower. Turn right on the first stick. Go back on the first stick. Let's roll. I'm going to, you see, pitch. I'm going to pitch. See? And then if I do it backward, it gives me a negative number. So it goes with this thing. Uh, you can't get a negative number for thrust because you can't get, ne well, you can get negative thrust, but I'm not going to have my motors turn backwards. Plus, I probably can't do that with the speed controllers unless I did some kind of playing around. See, it gives me a negative number. So, I don't know, I thought I should do a um, uh, kind of a continuation video on everything. Since I haven't done one in a long time, this is kind of very sketchy. You can see my laptop. Ooh, yeah, Lenovo. Lenovo is good. If you're going to get a laptop, get Lenovo. I got this for like 700 bucks, and it's like... A gaming, gaming computer. It's a serious gaming laptop. So, I don't know. I kind of like them. So, yeah. All I did was hook up those pins into the pulse with modulated pins on the Arduino. And let me turn on the light so you can see something. Click. Pulse with modulated signals on the Arduino. And connected that to my computer. And just did serial print on here. And this is the joystick. Now, um, these reverse things, I kind of played around with them until I got it so turning right would give me a higher number, turning left would give me a lower number. And I just did that because most of you should have like at least finished elementary algebra. So, or like, I think fifth grade or fourth grade, I'm not sure. So right would be positive x-axis, left would be negative x-axis, up would be positive y-axis. So up to the right is the first quadrant, which is the positive quadrant for both x and y. Second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth, qu fourth quadrant. So this works exactly like a graph, except in this case, you can't go negative on the y-axis. The y, the y line is the, is kind of in the bottom. So the way up, it's the you're in the first quadrant. No, sorry, you're in the middle, and this would be the first quadrant. This would be the second quadrant. There is no third and fourth. All right. So I hope you guys found this helpful by any means. Um, uh, the next video I'll be making is after I get all my parts, and that one I'll actually put more time into recording my screen, getting this, it's kinda, I'm kind of in a hurry right now, I'm between traveling and all that, so it's kind of difficult, so I just pulled up my camera and said I have to put a video for you guys. So, yeah, the next video is going to be me getting all the parts, having it with me, I'll show you here let me show you one more thing as you can see i already got let's see that's the arm that's the arm and then this is the tail you can see i already got the wood the pieces of wood this is going to be the tail because and those two are going to be the um arms two front arms so let me see if i can give you a visual demonstration of it Ta-da! So yeah, that's that's how the tricopter is going to look. Um, I bought the frame from David. His website's RC Explorer. He has a pretty cool frame. 
Uh, what I like about it is those two arms actually fold in with the frame so you can fold them like that and carry them in your backpack although they're just a tiny bit close so like about that about that close that's what i like about it that's why i bought it from him um i also bought the tilt mechanism from him because it's the only good tilt mechanism that i think could actually work because all the other ones require the servo moving and a wire attached to the servo which is then attached to a platform that bends this one it's a servo directly hooked up to the platform which i think has less room for error if my thing falls or does whatever so i hope you guys like this uh next video should be sometime after december starts i'm not exactly sure probably sometime around the 15th maybe or maybe before that. So, thank you for watching. This is Stealth, well, Stealth Gaming. And so much for a gaming channel, right? Yeah? Yeah, what do you think? If you guys think I should change the name of my channel, you tell me what I should do. I don't know. My channel has just been a herp -a derp So, anyways, see you later.